Hi, um, in this video we're going to be looking at Classico, which is by Tenacious D. The lesson's a little lengthy, uh, so it's going to be split into three pieces. Uh, this is the first of the three, and it's played finger style, so you're going to use your fingers on this hand instead of a plectrum. So, I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down for you. So, here we go. So that's going to be the first part. Um, now I'm going to break it into kind of little three note kind of segments. Um, so if you want to take a note of these, we'll just keep watching over and over again. You'll get it soon enough. Right, so first part is um, the third fret on the low E string. I'm using my second finger for that. And I'm going to pick that note and an open E, a high E at the same time. I'm choosing to use my thumb and my second finger on my picking hand. Um, the next two notes are both on the E strings, um, they're the second fret. Now rather than fret them individually, I actually do a bar with my first finger. So bow all the way across two, I just pick the low and the high E together. And the third chord is a low open E and a high third fret, well, on the high E string. Okay, so. So that's the first part. Next part is on the high E, you pick the second fret, um, then you pull off or pick, it's up to you. I'll do a pull off, I pull off to the open E, and then this very classical sounding chord it's second fret A string, fourth fret B string. So um, two on the A, four on the B, and I play that with my first and third fingers. So it's two, open. And then two on the A, four on the B. The next part is the high E again. We play an open E, second fret, and then we play third fret low E string and third fret B string at the same time. So. Another bar then on the second fret, except this time we pick the E and the B string. Okay, so second fret E, second fret B. And then uh, you either hammer on or pick the fourth fret on the B string whilst you're doing that. I do a hammer on like that with my fourth finger. You could pick it. Then two E's, both open. So next part are three, three uh, two note chords. Um, you need to get the finger right on this one because as you play it at higher speeds it's quite tricky otherwise. So the first one is uh, second fret low E. I use my second finger. So second fret E string. And then with my pinky I play third fret B string. Next chord is open E and first fret B. Okay, so. And the third chord is third fret low E and an open B. So you pick on the same strings there all the time, so there's nothing too complicated with this hand. I use my thumb and my second finger for a lot of this. So one more time. Second fret E string, third fret B. Open E, first fret B. Third fret low E, open B. Next part. This is on the G string. Second fret G, do it a pull off to the open G string. Then a power chord or a fifth. Uh, that's on the A string, second fret, fourth fret D string. Okay, so you could pick that if you want to. So one more time, 2nd fret G, open G, and then 2nd fret A string, 4th fret D. The very last part, kind of one of the more complicated lines, uh, it's quite fast if you play it up to song tempo. Um, on the G we do open G, 2nd fret, that's with the first finger, and then we do an octave. Now the octave is 2nd fret A string, and fourth fret on the G string. Okay, so it's 
And then you add on to an open on the G string. So you go. And then the very last bit, two more octaves. You have second fret A string, fourth fret D. And then the last bit is a low open E and second fret on the D string. So it's. So uh, I'll play the whole thing for you through once, uh, nice and slow. If you missed any of the notes, you just need to go back and keep watch them and memorize them um, or, or take a couple of notes. So. so that's the first part. Um, if you want to know the next part, then go to the next part of the, uh, of the lesson, and um, thanks for watching. I hope that's some help, and if you have any problems at this stage, then drop me a message and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Bye.